All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here on the show to talk about some uh, NFL uh, news. We have a lot of stuff to talk about here, so let's just cut right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about here, uh, we had some breaking news about an hour ago. You can tell I got a haircut. That's not the breaking news. Um, but uh, the Patriots are signing a former hashtag Cowboys running back. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott per uh, Ian Rappaport. And I know people say, oh, Ramondre Stevenson, he had a great run, but he should still start. Uh, the Patriots need some help with their short yardage offense, and he can still provide that. And he still has good pass protection. And if, and if you don't have a good backup, a backup running back for those short yardage, you're, you're going to run him a lot. And plus, you ran him a lot last season in uh, Stevenson. He needs some relief. Damian Harris was injured. Tom Montgomery was just in and out of the line. And the two rookies now second year. It's a good sign for the Patriots. It's like a, it's like, I think it's like a one-year deal. And you can use them for pass protection. I don't know how much he'll be playing. But I think it's a good backup now. It's kind of sad that it's what Zeke's um, is now is a good backup, but... I mean, he can still be good in short yardage situations and pass protection. Um, the Patriots signed Zeke Elliott to a one-year deal worth up to $6 million per Ian Rapport and Tom Plissero. So it's one year, $6 million, one year, $6 million deal. Um, all this, they're still going to finish last place in that division. I don't think Ramondre Stevenson's value is going down. I think people are just overreacting. I think people are just overreacting to it. Cause he's still going to get most of the downs. It's just he's not probably not going to play every down just so they don't run him into the ground. So um, we talked about a few days ago the Saints were talking about um, Chiefs running back Daryl Williams, I believe. Um, so we had an update. The Saints, they have signed former Chiefs running back Darrell Williams. Per Nick Underhill, um, he had 1,000 total yards in 2021, scoring eight touchdowns. And I think they were talking to De- I forgot which Williams. It was either I was uh, the one in the Super Bowl play for the Chiefs. He's really underrated. Um, he's a beast. He he could be a good back uh, for Kamara's three game suspension. And I think it's a good move. But there were rumors um, that we would re-sign Ezekiel Elliott, but this was really the last play in Ezekiel Elliott's Cowboys career. Lining up at center and getting absolutely demolished. Man. Um, We had an update. The Bears have claimed former... Uh, Falcons starting linebacker Michael Walker and they wang- waived linebacker Koyan Dang for the team. Did he wa- did he wave back? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I guess he's just not good. Um, maybe I mean last season he was pretty bad, but maybe he could turn it around and. Um, Chicago. Willie? I don't know. So an update. Uh, Giants quarterback, uh, Daniel Jones, he won't be featured on season two of the ne- of Netflix quarterback series, according to Seven Boomer Sison and G-O-W-F-A-N. And so, that's yet another quarterback. Add yet another name to the list of quarterbacks that won't do it. There's so many quarterbacks that have turned it down. Man. But, man, thank God they're not choosing Daniel Jones for this. Didn't a story drop that every QB is supposed to say they're not doing it, maybe to build the suspense for maybe next season? But maybe, at this point, they might, even have, might not even have a second season. Honestly. But maybe every QB who said no to this is afraid they're going to look like Mariota on the show. He had a horrible year for the Falcons and, and, and ended up on another team. 
these players don't want to be embarrassed like that. Maybe. But, I don't know. But Jimmy Garoppolo's even not doing it. Daniel Jones, um, Dak Prescott, Justin Herbert, a bunch of quarterbacks, man. Lamar Jackson. Uh, the Steelers, they have waged former Patriots second-round corner, cornerbacks slash safety Duke Dawson. They also signed former Jets and Seahawks cornerback as they had done and signed former Eagles cornerback LaVert Hill. Duke Dawson's still in the league. I didn't even know he's still in the league. Um, honestly. But, good for him. Uh, Patriots team Mike Gesicki, uh, he left practice early per Mike Reese and C. Price Glow. Uh, he, he was holding uh, his left arm, uh, his left arm as he left uh, practice. I mean, as long as he can still greedy, he'll be fine. So. But, man, there's so many injuries in practice, man, this off season, just I don't think it's going to be anything too severe, but still, man, another injury. Uh, so, Zach Martin, the Cowboys, um, remember um, the start of training camp, they, they, Zach Martin wanted a new deal. Um, he was holding out, but, the, but Zach Martin is back with the Cowboys, per in rapport Mike Garofalo. At the day, the, do, the two sides agreed on a new deal. He was fined over $1 million during his holdout. It's about damn time. Uh, he deserved every bit of that salary increase. Um... Best guard in football. So, love to see it. Glad, glad, glad Zach Martin's back. And the new deal uh, will pay him worth of north of $18 million in each of the next two years. Uh, he was scheduled to be at $13.5 million this year and $14.5 million this year. So, it's an additional $8.5 million, $8.5 plus million increase. Both years also have been fully guaranteed per source. He's been the best guard in the NFL the past 10 years. And any time you have a future Hall of Famer and his prime locked in is a win for the front office. And look, I know he's under contract. They kept him instead of being forced to a point where he gets traded, for example. So, anybody wants to say, oh, it's an overpay. <laughs> they just don't know football. Because you got a Hall of Fame guard. You're not going to not pay them. Good to see Zach Martin back with the team. So, Bando's Panthers wide receiver, Terrace Marshall, uh, he's been carted off at practice per Adam Shafter. Um, he gets carted off, the 2021 second round pick wide receiver. Um, prayers up for uh, Terrence Marshall. Terrence Marshall, hopefully uh, nothing serious uh, with, with him. But I think it was a non-contact injury. Maybe he tweaked something. Just because he was a non-contact, it doesn't mean he tore something. Could have maybe tweaked something in his back or something. Who knows? So, we have a wild story here uh, to talk about. So, you know, former NFL player Michael Ower, the subject of the Blindside movie with Sandra Bullock, has claims that a central element of the story was a lie coded by the family to enrich themselves at his expense. He alleges that Sean and Lee to to Toe how you say his last name? Or her or instead less than three months after uh, after he turned eighteen two thousand four the petition says the couple tricked him into signing a document making them his conservators, which gave them legal authority to make a business to make business deals in his name. He petitioned a Tennessee court on Monday. That movie, um, I, I saw something of it. I was like, I don't know if I never bought into it. Like, sure, you could say, oh, um, you had, that movie had me think, had you thinking I was like, their best family ever, but I don't know. I didn't really get the vibe of that. But it's just what took them so long to come out, though, huh? But it's just wild. They, I guess they really blindsided him. So it basically his adopted family here were scammers. I guess that's why the movie is called Blindside. 
It's really disappointing news. Sad and, this is just sad and disappointing of true. But he actually claims that they used their power to strike a deal that paid them and their two birth children millions of dollars in royalty, royalties from an Oscar winning film that earned more than 300 million while while he got nothing. So they got apparently 300 million while he got nothing. And it was his story and he didn't get, and he didn't get anything while the family made millions. So they got paid 300 million while he got nothing. And this goes back to February of 2023. It's so like six months ago. It basically sounds like he was blindsided. They got paid three hundred million. Like, yeah, I get there's two sides to the story, but but to get for them to get paid three hundred million on his story where he gets paid nothing, no money, just nothing at all. But he sounds heartbroken about the adoption more than anything. Like, I love the movie, but this, he really got nothing out of this. Maybe it was their story, but for them to get that much money and he get nothing, it's kind of crazy. Um, Jalen Hurts, the Eagles quarterback, he is signing with the Jordan brand. Uh, they announced on Instagram, they showed he's signing with the Jordan brand. So... Good, so good to see uh, Jalen Hurts. Like Jalen Hurts, a very talented quarterback, top top five in the league. Very very cool story. Where me where me and many others criticized the Eagles as selecting him a few years ago. So good uh, to see him getting a Jordan Brand deal. So ESPN listed the um, notable Fred's running back still available. Um, well, Zeke Elliott's now gone, but Dalvin Cook, Leonard Fournette, Kareem Hunter still here. I don't know how Dalvin Cook is still a free agent. I guess he's still available because of the money, or he doesn't have to, or he doesn't want to have to do training camps. So maybe teams will wait until after training camp, but they'll probably all get signed. Uh, the holdout at 49ers D end, Nick Bosa is getting potentially more expensive via Pro Football Talk, so he's holding out one a new contract. Uh, his fines include forty thousand for each day of training camp miss and can include and can include nine hundred ninety two thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars for missing preseason games like yesterday against the Raiders. The forty nine ers are likely to waive those fines, however during contract negotiations it's not possible to waive fines of players playing under non rookie contracts, but he's still on his rookie deal. If there's no Bosa the Niners defensive unit might not be that good. Maybe there's an exception here when it comes to late talent, but anyways, yeah, I don't know. I feel like he's going to stay with the 49ers. If, if you need to pay Nick Bosa, they really do. And I think they will eventually, but it's concerning they still haven't. So Peyton Manning, he's returning to the University of Tennessee to teach classes. Yes, Peyton Manning. He's returning to, to the University of Tennessee to teach classes as a professor. The university announced money at the College of Communication and Information is appointing Manning as a professor of practice in the fall of tw fall 2023 turn. The Pro, the Pro Football Hall of Fame quarterback will join select classes during the academic year as a featured expert and work alongside the college's facility to provide learning experiences for CCI students at Tennessee. Well, it looks like I need to tra transfer to Tennessee. Uh, uh, have class with Peyton Manning. Uh, but, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. We've got Calc 101 with Professor Manning. Yeah, that's that's wild, man. He's going back to teach. So, this is wild. So, Dave's Bryant lists his top five quarterbacks, corners. He said Trayvon Diggs, Stephon Gilmore, Patrick Stan, Sauce Garner, and Jalen Ramsey. I mean, it's kind of a bias list, so there's... It's kind of a bias list, because it's it's, it's, it's Dave's Bryant, former Cowboy. He's kind of biased here. So, 
Yeah, I mean, Trayvon Diggs definitely top five for me. Not boss, but yeah. That's what I'm gonna say this for this video. So until next time, have a lot. Peace. I'll do another NFL video in a few minutes.